So we're here at the World Enduro Series and I'm going to take a walk of the pits to talk to some of the pro mechanics to ask what it takes to look after a bike at an EWS race. Right, I'm with Todd SRAM Rock Shots. You look after everyone's bikes, from amateurs to the pros, but also across all disciplines, cross country, downhill and enduro. Yep. Are the enduro riders particularly heavy on their bikes? It's inherent in the sport for sure. I mean, these guys are out all day long riding really gnarly tracks. I mean, going as fast as possible. These guys are all incredibly talented athletes. So yeah, I mean, these bikes are taking a beating. Um, every aspect of the bike is just getting totally hammered and pushed to the limit. So yeah, we see a lot of uh, just, yeah, tired parts at the end of the day. Tired riders, tired yeah. parts. It's almost like riding downhill tracks on trail bikes, really. And it's a bit of a reliability test for riders and bikes. Do you ever see riders picking maybe, you know, something like a, an alloy rim over a carbon rim just because they need that reliability? Definitely, definitely. It's, enduro is a matter of, a, it, it's a, it's a, it comes down to attrition. And so not only riders, but also the equipment. So yeah, they're looking at, at getting parts that are more durable. So for sure, aluminum is normally, uh, yeah, for most riders, the, the selected rim, yeah. Right, with Geordie at Fox. And something I find really interesting is my background is in downhill racing, where we'd spend a lot of time trying to find the perfect setup for that one course. And with suspension, you'd be playing around with clickers with air pressure to get you perfect setup. But with enduro, the course is big, the terrain is varied, the riders themselves, do they play with their suspension much whilst they're out there for the day? Yeah, they do. And then by the end of the day, they've forgotten what they've done and then you have to kind of decipher it. Um, I think like one of our jokes with Enduro is even a shitty setup works somewhere yeah. on an Enduro track. So it's, I don't, I don't think they're trained as much as the downhillers and you're also you're not repeating the same section over and over again. So it is much harder to nail down a perfect setup. Do you ever have to like educate the riders and say, right, this is what your high speed does, this is what your low speed does. So when they're out there and they're thinking, well, this doesn't feel quite right. So they know what they need to do themselves. You do. Sometimes you have to educate them over and over <laughs> and over again, the same riders. But yeah, I guess it helps if they can adjust it a little bit. But really, they do end up getting a bit lost. And I mean, we've all done it. You go to go on a ride and you click something and you think it feels better and then the next day it feels worse. I think suspension is one of those things you have to be really careful about what you're doing and tracking what you're doing. Otherwise, you end up getting a bit lost. And as far as lockouts, things like that, does your average injury racer want a lockout on their bike to take advantage of that in the pedaling sections? Maybe not so much for the pedaling sections but for transfers for sure. Just to keep the bike at an attitude that's a little more comfortable to ride, since they're riding such long travel bikes. It at least keeps the seat up in a more comfortable pedaling position. So of the hundreds of riders here at Enduro World Series, of course not everyone has a pro mechanic. There's lots of people that have to look after their bikes themselves. Martin, you've done the first day's racing. It's a big day out. Is it seven hours, something ridiculous? 50 kilometers. You've now finished. What are you going to do to your bike? Uh, first of all, we're going to wash it. We've been sat here in this line now for 30, 40 minutes. Yeah. We've yet to eat, so probably should have eaten. Yeah. Uh, once we've done that, give it a good check over. The, it's had a pretty hard rife. I'll probably wipe my seals, a uh, little lower service, and then set the gears, check the brakes. Every bolt check, so. I guess you want to try and keep it to a minimum. You don't want to be up all night fixing your bike, but obviously you don't want your bike failing tomorrow either. Well, that's it, yeah. Like, we were up pretty late last night. We had, uh, pretty lucky, we got some bigger brakes sent out. So we had the three team bikes to change the brakes on ourselves and things. But yeah, try and get an early night for rest. As far as today on the trail, did you have to do anything to your bike? <laughs> yeah, I had a right shambles, to be fair. Uh, I crashed on the first stage. Uh, the levers went down, my bars twisted, my bars even rolled. So I was trying to go along and like punch my levers back flat. Yeah. So there you go, there's a lot of work that goes into looking after these bikes to make sure they get around this whole EWS circuit and the riders do the best they can. Click on the GMN Globe to subscribe, definitely do that if you haven't done that already. And for some tech from the EWS, click over there. And for a pro bike from the EWS, click over there for Sam Hill's Newt Proof Mega. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video.